In this episode, I'll be joined by my friend Brad Livingston, and we're going to the remote country of Iceland to see some of the coolest nature sites in the world. Not only that, but I'm going to show you all of these cool places in just under three minutes. Get ready for the ride. I'm Adam Miguez. I've been to 30 plus countries. I speak nine languages, and my goal is to show you the coolest things in the world. These are my arcane adventures. Hey, Adam and Brad here with Arcane Travels. Uh, we're here in Reykjavik, Iceland. Uh, it's pretty cold, uh, as the name suggests. Uh, our Texas friend here is not handling it well, but you know he'll survive. Uh, we've been here for about 24 hours and the sun has literally not gone down. Uh, you probably can't tell if it's 4 a.m. or 4 p.m., uh, but we're gonna go check out some cool stuff, so. Our first stop was Skogafoss Waterfall. And besides being breathtakingly beautiful, Legend has it that the first Viking settler buried a treasure inside the cave behind this waterfall. Our next stop was also a waterfall, which is called Gullfoss. But as you can see, it is completely different than the Skogafoss waterfall. It measures 66 feet wide and is 1.6 miles in length. It is massive. All right, so little known fun fact, after sailing the seven seas, Leif Erikson actually used this very same metal ship and brought it back here to Iceland, the world's most famous Viking. With everything I just said, it's completely false. Yeah, that ship-like statue is actually an art installation called the Sun Voyager, but the other story sounded good too, right? Next up, we headed to the city of Vík, which is famous for its black sand beach. It was unlike any other beach I had ever seen and probably ever will see. There are barriers there that are supposed to keep people far enough away so that they don't get wet by the water from the geyser. But sometimes it's not far enough. Hey guys, so we are here at a geothermal pool in the middle of Iceland. So obviously there are so many other cool places in Iceland that I didn't get a chance to cover in this video. But if you're someone that just has a day or two layover in Iceland, I think this is the perfect travel plan. Stay tuned for my next video where we go in depth into Reykjavik.